Hey everyone, a little while back I showed this video of the abandoned Mount Tom Ski Resort and Amusement Park. Over here there's a bunch of abandoned water slides. There's a few in-ground swimming pools, the big community pool, and where the water slides end up. There's a bunch of abandoned buildings. This one has a basement. Basement's still intact. It's been burned down. Most of them have been burned down by vandalism. This big building is is completely gone. There's a garage down there, which is pretty interesting. But in this video, I'm just going to be showing you my favorite building right here. It looks like absolutely nothing, right? The entire basement is intact. Where the offices are, where the bathrooms are. See right here, this would have been their sprinkler pumps. This basement here has been since sealed in. Can't get inside it anymore. They demolished it. Probably too dangerous. But this is reinforced concrete floor. It's going to take decades for that to become deteriorated. Right here, there would have been a few showers. There would have been a sink right here. A wall. The door. Right here, three toilet stalls. So you can see where all the walls are if you look at the ground. Really nice tile work here. Another sprinkler valve or water shut off. That's the big swimming pool there. This is the ski trail. There's another ski trail there. We only walked up that one. There's not much. There's a few poles remaining, foundations. At the top, the ski house or the terminal building is completely burned down in both cases. Got some random stairs going through the woods. But now we're about to go down into the basement. I don't know why my camera's always brighter if I zoom in slightly. Got my camera light. They weren't trying to block it off so people couldn't go in. They originally had fences over the top to stop you from falling in. I think this place is real nice. Still got the nice treads on the stairs. Doesn't smell too bad for being abandoned. It's all concrete. Mold can't really grow in here. There we got the sprinkler valve in there. Got a room here. Bunch of fire damage. Got those commercial metal studs. The drop ceilings all burnt. Look at those wires all charred, melting. Got a lot of smoke damage in here. Oh, look at that bird's nest right there on top of the sprinkler head. Or the pipe going to the sprinkler head. Those light fixtures are pretty cool. There's one still intact. It had four pieces of glass in it. Okay, first we're going to check out the boys' bathroom here. Eh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and get a better picture of the place. All right, walk in, you have the wall. There used to be two bathroom stalls in here. So where the sinks would have been, they've been smashed or stolen. All the copper plumbing has been stolen. Got the light fixtures there. Smells like pee in here. Nice tile work. Oh, the drain is even still working. Otherwise, it would be flooded. Wow. Over here, the urinals smashed off the walls. I would say this is the most intact building in the entire place. The upstairs used to be there, but sadly, people had to burn them down. And it wasn't too long ago that these places burned either. It's only been like a decade. Now this right here is the girls bathroom. Someone stole the signs. This one is really stinky. People have been using this one on the floor. 
Yeah, that's a strong vanity. If vandals didn't smash it off the wall. Look at that strong, strong brace right there. That solid inch steel rod holding it up. Really nice tile work in here. The mirrors are smashed. Pretty fancy light fixtures for a bathroom, but it was a nice resort at one time. All the toilets are smashed. Ha, ah, there's still toilet paper. I was just gonna check to see. Look at that cinder block right through it. I don't smell mold at all. All I can smell is urine. I bet this is a cool hangout for a lot of people at night, especially on weekends. That door doesn't open. It's jammed, but you saw from the other side. Got a bunch of giant semi-tires in here. Why? Okay, here's another room. Got some shelving. Some counter, ew, the carpet, it feels so weird walking on it, it's so squishy. Now you gotta remember, this place was working not too long ago, and I know it was maintained until the 90s, so there's not gonna be anything like asbestos. That's probably lead paint. Lead paint is not a hazard unless you're sanding it or you have a toddler that chews on the walls. You actually have to eat it or breathe it in. Look at this room. Probably a bulletin board or something on there. You see how the door is cut in half like that? Somebody was sitting in here selling something. It was an office, maybe a check-in, who knows. Right there, uh, it had to have been an office. Look at all that f telephone wires board. Most new buildings don't even have phone lines leading to them. Everything's done through coaxial or cat. And here's the maintenance room. Got a ton of conduit. Whoever did that did a nice job. I like how it comes up. Water heater, utility sink. Oh, that, that utility sink's awesome. Look how thick the metal is holding it up. That bracket there. That would be a good thing to restore. But if you tried taking it from here, chances are they'd see it dragging it out. Here's the electrical room. Got a ton of phone lines, communication cables. Oh, yeah. I see a bunch of blue cat cables. I didn't think a building abandoned this long ago would have that. We got all the breakers. Surprised more of them aren't stolen, although they are pretty useless and out of date. Looks like a sprinkler timer. Not necessarily sprinkler, just industrial. Looks like. They're, they're still moving. Those are contactors. Contactors are used to throw a large amount of electricity with a, just a little bit of voltage. It's more cost effective than running giant wires around everywhere. And you can also use a regular size light switch to turn on something with massive voltage that the switch itself wouldn't be able to handle. I could have gone up that staircase. I'm just choosing to go out the same side. I would love to have that fire bell. That's a tiny one, but I'm sure it sure is loud. That would make an awesome doorbell for someone whose regular doorbell doesn't wake them up at night. I've never had a problem with not being woken up by a doorbell. My father sure did. He always wanted one of those installed. All right. All right, right here, we got a gigantic transformer, or it could have been a generator. This building was burned down 
most likely by vandalism, possibly the fire department, just to keep people from hanging out in here, but I doubt it. A lot of the buildings you'll find here are completely burnt. Looking downstairs, can't even walk in here, the smell of smoke is so bad. Basement, but it's going to last a long time. It has reinforced concrete beams holding up the building, and when, without road salt, and with the concrete above it protecting it, it'll be many years before anything happens to that. The building that used to be here was massive. Only torn down a few years ago. Kids have made it into a skate park since. All right, here's another building. This is the second most intact, or actually, this is the most intact building, but it's not the most exciting. The most exciting was that basement we were just in. You see, the decking here is gone because years ago it was a ski club. Walking in and out, you, they wanted you to stomp off your snowy shoes and would fall into the hole. Decking is completely gone. I actually walked out this door. Good thing I saw that last time I explored this. Woo! Love the echo of this building, it's so awesome. It's dark because it suffered fire damage, but it's a reinforced concrete beams that are massive. Not a single bit of cracking or corrosion of the rebar I see. This building will be here a long time. There's graffiti all over the roof. It's a strong building. Look at this, it has another one of those broken doors where someone could have been sitting here doing something. Yeah, look, see the railing here? People were being directed in a certain way. I bet that glass is plexiglass. Someone smashed the inside. It's gotta be plexiglass if it's not smashed. If it was tempered, it would still probably show some cracks. There's roof access. We can take a quick look up on the roof. There, right there, would have been their fire extinguisher. Actually, that fire extinguisher is in the parking lot. So rusted. 20 or 30 years ago, some kid must have brought it out there just to spray it and have some fun. Right here, we got the sprinkler control unit. Most of the stuff is probably stolen. Yeah, it is. There's the sprinkler controls. The main valve. Someone stole it. Well, the knob, anyways. Awesome. A little bit of mold on the bottom of the wall that's sitting in the water, which is completely expected. Now let's go out. There's a big garage door here. This place is built into a hill. There's a hill right there. Yep, right on out the garage door. And this is the main parking lot. There's a massive quarry up there that I checked out in my full video of the place. Let's move up to the next building. Check out that roof drain. That would be pretty cool to make a channel here sometime when there's a lot of water. Hasn't rained in a while though. This is what's going to kill the building eventually. The roots of these trees are through. Those roots are going to start growing, expanding, and breaking it apart. See all the little holes here in the tar paper? That's why you got puddles inside. But still, it's going to take decades and decades to do anything. This is actually the kind of nice to walk on. It feels squishy. Like it's padded. Look at this big tree. Right in the roof. Alright, now we're going up to that little lookout building. Here we are at the next building. Step up on the dilapidated soft deck. Plywood building. No, it's just not very well made. Got a bunch of mold there. Lookout tower. You could be very careful walking in here. You gotta make sure you're walking on the beams right here. Go up, some kind of lookout tower. Looks pretty cool, but you see, vand that's vandalism. It looks like someone threw gasoline at that wall. Just the way it's burnt. Got a ton of bittersweet here, taking over that side of the deck. Wow, can't believe no one stole that. That's worth a few bucks. All right. The last and final 
standing structure is right there. This is the building that would have housed their massive pumps and filters for the water slides. This building is really nice. The roof doesn't have any damage. It's a nice concrete building. Here we are. This is where you'd get out after you went flying in from the water slide. Those go up to a deck on the top, which is completely dilapidated and rotted out. There's actually rotten stairs going up there. There used to be wood stairs. You see the massive pumps coming out right here. Pretty cool, right? Now it's a permanent cattail pond. All right, let's go check out the building. My guess is there would have been massive pipes coming out of here, I think. Let's go on inside, grab my light. Yep, this would have been filled with water. I see some baffles in there. I am guessing this was filters. I, I don't I don't think this was a indoor spa or anything Just look at the size of the pipes coming into it And yeah, it's had to have been some kind of Because it's not fancy there's no tiles on it or anything I'm Guessing it's giant filtration building Got some plexiglass which I assume was blocking the door at one point Got plexiglass right here, blocking these holes for, I don't know why. See right here, all the little screw holes? Pretty sharp. That's where the plexiglass was sitting. What a shame, but these pools and that building certainly, they were definitely built right. 30 years being abandoned. If you came in here with a pressure washer and some new paint, you could get this place working, definitely. The only reason I think it's not completely filled up, I think they have a drain open, so it can't. And we got the fake turf that covered all the trails because they didn't want people tracking mud and stuff into the water. See, they have the fake turf covering the concrete. And here's a pond. It looks like this is where they got most of their water. It's just stream water that they filtered and were pumping into their systems. And this right here is where the water leaves through these culverts. New culverts are rotting, but these culverts, they're probably 50 or 60 years old. Nothing wrong with them. Road salt is what destroys them. Also back then they were just built better. This is why most places don't allow you to explore. People burn down most of the buildings here. Today, I have seen five burnt buildings. Just people vandalizing. Right here, looks like there would have been another deck completely rotted out because keep in mind, they were well aware they were about to go out of business and in the final years, they probably weren't doing much maintenance. To me, this looks like maybe something to do with a water slide. These stairs are still pretty stable. See, there's stairs everywhere coming down all different directions. And you notice they have beams with plywood on top of it. That's one of the reasons why it rotted so fast. The fake turf was keeping moisture up against the plywood. And yet it rotted. Their cheapness destroyed it. Maybe they were being cheap because they were about to go bankrupt. It should have just been regular non-slip decking. Love this trail. Got a lamp post here. Oh, this is a pretty rotten area. All messed up. And we're coming back down to the main community pool. I was down next to the first building we started where we were in those bathrooms these buildings were all cinder block construction definitely taken down with excavators a lot of these drains still work 
And by the looks of it, their retention pond over there is still working, which they need by law. Back then, I don't think they actually needed it back in this time. Look at the ski trails. It's going to take forever for those to grow in because they were engineered and packed with excavators. It's not like a hand-cut ski trail that would return to forest in a decade. That'll be open for probably 50 years before anything substantial. It looks like they didn't have this thing filled up all the way. That's a lot more than six feet. Some kind of building here. Some of the graffiti, like on that wall, how they were able to make it all merge together so perfectly. Definitely done by an artist. All right. I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, the full video of this is in the description. But I think this was better.